I, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask about Lizzie. Um, <laughs> I, I have to. Um, it's I, fine. I, yeah, it's, it's cool. Thanks, bro. I'm I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, I yeah, have to got, know. You got, nothing, you got nothing to apologize about, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Cool, bro. Um, so could you tell me how this situation with you and her began? And and you know, <laughs> I just I, I just mean, don't, no no one's ever no one's ever asked me how, that question. Um, it usually goes to you know so why'd you get fired or why'd you leave and, you know kind of thing. Uh, with Lizzie, it was just um uh. uh I don't, I'm trying to figure out how, how do I answer this. It was just, um, yeah, for whatever reason, Rob paired Lizzie and I together. I don't know why. It was never explained to me. I think it was just because, um, you know, Sab, or, uh, Supreme had Christy. Uh, Lizzie wanted to be involved, or Rob wanted Lizzie involved, and Supreme and I were, were feuding. So just put Lizzie, because... Keep in mind when I first started the Messiah character or the, the gimmick, I was te- even though I was I was a heel, I was a bad guy. I was against XPW. I was against everything XPW stood for, the sex and violence, and you know. And then I show up to a show one day, and I'm part of the Black Army. I'm part of Rob Black's Black Army. It was never explained to me why. I just was. Um. And I didn't question it. It was just okay, cool. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. I'm. I'm I'm happy I'm wrestling. Uh, so uh, I, Lizzie got paired with me. And uh, she and I had, uh, I guess, good chemistry with each other. Because uh, we would always shoot vignettes and stuff like that. Which, you asked me, like, how it was to be at XPW. Like, that was probably the, the funnest times I had. Uh, in XPW, we were just shooting the, the vignettes, like, at, you know, one in the morning with Supreme or chaos or whatever. And we're trying to get a shot of something, you know, it was, that stuff was always fun. Always uh, had a blast doing that. But um, uh, I ended up work, started working at the XPW offices. And uh, uh, when I first started wrestling for XPW, I was working at a place called Claim Jumper, which was a steak restaurant. Um, And, Back then, it was like the guys weren't even allowed to have facial hair or anything like that. You dressed real nice, and um, but you know, I'm I'm doing hardcore wrestling, so I'd show up to work with a bandaid on my head because I had gotten busted open or whatever, and I would get sent home. Like no one wants their waiter or the person making their food <laughs> to have a bandaid on. Like I, I completely understood it, and so I'd go to the XPW office, and Rob would go, "What are you doing here?" I'm like, "Dude, I just got sent home." Like, why? Look at my head. I can't. Like, so I uh, basically got the balls one day just to ask Rob, like, give me a job. Can I have a job? Because I hated doing what I was doing. And Rob was kind enough. I'm like, okay, I'll give you a job. So I started working at the uh, XTW offices slash the Extreme Associates offices, the, uh, the adult side of the company. And I do things like, you know, make deliveries or whatever, but Lizzie would be around a lot. And uh, she and I just, uh, we got on with each other really well, you know, joking and, and goofing off. And the other thing too is when I started working at the XPW offices, uh, you know, you, granted it's, it's a wrestling company, but the wrestling company didn't make money. It really didn't make money. What paid the bills was the adult side of everything. And, uh, you know, when you had like the, uh, like just when you had the ex girls, when you had like Jessica Darlin, who was a contract girl, Christy Metz, a contract girl, Lizzie, uh, all three of them were really super nice to me. And uh, uh, oh, some of sometimes even motherly, like looking over me. But um, I was, kind, again, I'm not trying to like talk myself up, but I was kind of seen like a, like a brand new puppy. Like I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't used to the adult side. I never worked in it. I, you know, so like everyone else is jaded to it. Right. Like, oh, there's yeah. a naked chick walking by. You know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. they, uh, like Jessica would refer to people outside of the adult world as, as civilians. And I was a civilian. <laughs> and 
the three of them basically like would uh how can, how can i put this um they would uh uh <laughs> they, they would sexually harass me like all the time <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, it was like it was it was awesome. It was awesome, you know. I was getting attention, obviously. You know? Yeah, yeah, you know. So I was just seeing like a brand new puppy, you know. It was just like we can mess with it because I wasn't jaded to it or anything like that, you know. And they would do it to other people too, just not me. But um, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, like 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 Rob paired Lizzie and I together, and when Lizzie and Rob, who were a couple in real life, you know, Rob was very controlling. Uh, and again, th this is all stuff I heard from Lizzie. And for all I know, she was straight up lying to me. She probably was. I don't know. But, um, you know, Rob was very controlling. Um, you know, he didn't like it. Like, she she wasn't allowed to wear anything brown or, you know, like stupid stuff like that. He had to know where she was at, like, all the time. And he was very controlling when it came to, like, who she hung out with. For whatever reason, Rob was cool with me and Lizzie hanging out. And I'm not saying, like, we hang, hang out, like, go to the movie or anything like that, but like talking to each other in the office or whatever. And um, uh, like there was one time we did a show and Rob, Rob's like, he gave me the keys to um, Lizzie's Porsche because he had bought Lizzie a Porsche. Rob, want, Rob was a big one of these guys. Like, uh, you know, uh, he, he wanted everybody to believe the, the gimmick. You know, you hear about like how Ted DiBiase, Ted DiBiase became a million dollar man and yeah, you know, this yeah, yeah. man wanted him giving out like hundred dollar bills, really, and always <laughs> yeah. being in first class and limos. Like he wanted him to live the gimmick kind of thing. Well, Rob wanted the fans to see Lizzie and I together all the time, and so like he threw me the the keys to uh, uh, the Porsche to go pick up Lizzie at the house. And you know, you know, at the time I'm driving like a 1986 Ford Tempo, like <laughs> so, like all right, I go, I, I pick her up, and then I I come back, uh, you know, to to the venue. And, you know, we're driving in the uh, the parking lot and all the fans are like, oh, look, there's there's Lizzie and Messiah and he's driving a Porsche. Like he wanted us to, you know, look the part essentially. Um, but I, I also think Rob used to like to uh, uh, have Lizzie like flirt with guys. Like Rob was good friends with Bubba Ray Dudley. And when the WWE would come in town, you know, uh, they uh, Bubba would like come to the office or um, uh, there was one time we went to uh, the rainbow room uh, and met like everybody, like a bunch of the guys there. But, you know, Lizzie told me Rob would tell her like flirt with Bubba, flirt with Bubba, you know, kind of thing. I think in the case of Lizzie, because there was a time where I was thinking about uh, leaving and like going up north. Um, it didn't mean I didn't want to didn't mean I was going to leave XPW, but I want to be here for like to do vignettes and stuff like that. Or, and in all honesty, if, if, uh, if I needed to, if I couldn't have been part of XPW, then I wouldn't have been part of XPW. But Lizzie told me Rob got concerned that I was going to leave. Um, and, uh, I think Rob, Rob just had Lizzie do what he always had Lizzie do with guys. And I think she just took it too far. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's what I think would happen. It just got taken too far. So, um, you know, it was a relationship I should have never had with her. Um, uh, I should have gotten fired, deserved to get fired. Um, but, you know, for whatever reason, like I, when you read about it, it's, uh, it, it's always put on my shoulders. Like, you can ask my wife. I, I have no game. It's not like I, uh, I'm, I'm a, I, hey, what's up? Like, I got nothing, <laughs> nothing. Um, but for some reason you hear about like how it's always, uh, it's always me. It's never, you know, there was two people that were involved in, in everything, but it's always on me, which I think is ridiculous and funny at the same time. But uh, yeah, it was just, it, it, the relationship just got taken too far. Shouldn't have gone where it went um and uh yeah i mean, I mean that, that was basically it it was uh uh yeah it was just a screwed up situation all around right were there, were there feelings involved did you both have feelings for each other or was it just the situation just went too far and 
It was um, to be honest with you, at the time, for on my end, yes. But as soon as everything stopped, I it was basically being like you know, in uh, you always hear about being in the bubble. You know, yeah. like you're in the bubble. Once you get out of the bubble, you know, things become more clear, you know, or it's, you know, I can equate it to, you know, was of odds, you know, everything's black and white and then boom, it's just, everything's in color. Like it wasn't until uh, everything had, like I had left XPW and I was in CZW. I was doing well for myself. I didn't, and I started believing in myself again and realized I didn't need like, I didn't need the XPW machine behind pushing me. Like I, I'm, I am talented. Like people do want to use me because I know when I left XPW or when I got fired from XPW in Rob's mind, you were never going to hear about me ever again. Cause before XPW, it wasn't like I was doing the California indie scene. I wasn't, right. I, I didn't really even know how to. Um, uh, and then when I went to CZW, uh, that that really gave me a lot of confidence in myself and uh i realized you know like dude what the like what the hell did i just like it was there was a lot of things going on in my life at the time in xpw that lizzie knew about and i think she took advantage um you know involving like an ex-girlfriend and that kind of stuff and uh lizzie at the time uh had become friends with my roommates because again, Rob was very uh, controlling, but like Lizzie needed to get her hair done. My roommate was a hairdresser. So it was like, okay, I, she started going to my roommate to get her hair done and everything. And my roommate would, would tell me like, all she did was ask questions about you. And like, why, uh, why this didn't work out with so-and-so or why you and uh, so-and-so uh, uh, broke up and blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, whatever. Um, uh, so I, I, I think, uh, like I said, it just got... She took it friggin' way too far. And um, and so did I. I'm not saying I wasn't, you know, part of that. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, I mean, I, I, I think back, I think back to it now. I'm just like, I was a 24-year-old kid living on my own. My family were in different states. I was living in a garage. Uh, my life was XPW. Meaning I went to work there, then I'd wrestle there. I was there 24 hours a day almost, you know, six days a week. Um, uh, I, I mean, I, dude, I was easy, easy pickings. I really was. Um, so it was just, you know, I, I made dumb decisions as a 24-year-old guy. You know, it was just dumb. And uh, uh, yeah, I'll be honest, I, I don't regret any anything from the standpoint of all the bad shit that's happened uh and along with all the good stuff but all the you know that stuff you know build gives you character it, it builds you up um and uh without all the bad stuff happening you know i i never would have met my wife i wouldn't have my two daughters now um so i don't regret any of that stuff 